Okay, so Shiva, is it possible for the two of us, the two of us are friends, so is it possible for the two of us as friends to be able to explore tantric sex? Is this even possible? Generally, a lot of people often think it's with a lover. Yeah, so this is a very good question, okay, because uh, um, I don't know what you guys are imagining out there when you're watching this video. So the first thing is that we are not lovers. We haven't been sharing intimacy. The more we have been sharing is a, a hug and a little breakfast. bit of yeah, yeah, breakfast and caring <laughs> and uh, and uh, engaging into energy techniques in the morning. So this puts, with, puts us into a category where you would say, well, there is no possibility for having sex here, mm. even if you know we could explore light intimacy practices, for instance. But what does it mean when it comes to uh, to, to tantric sex? So what I wanted to 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 tell you here with this is that. Um, it's very important to understand the dynamics of what's going on here because uh, it means that uh, we both function with a certain set of boundaries, you know. Uh, if I was engaging with you into anything that becomes too sexual, like touching mm. your breasts, for instance, touching your genitals or going, mm. or we get naked and there is all sorts of uh, things happening there, um, then we would shift the dynamics and become lovers, right? Yeah. So the, there is sexual energy between us right now. Mm. This energy is existing. How intense is it? Uh, probably not too intense. It's like I don't feel like super sexually activated. Mm. I could turn myself on. It means that we could do practices that are going to activate that. Mm. But what's very important is that I respect you as yes. a guy. You see, we are living together and um, it's important for Selena to feel safe. To feel super safe, to feel respected. So when I engage into any form of uh, practice with uh, with you, uh, the first thing that I have to do is really check in. What does feel appropriate? What does feel comfortable? If I'm holding your your hand yeah, like is that, is this okay for me? Is this is this okay? Am I crossing the line or not? Mm. You know, for instance, if I start massaging your your, your neck from behind, mm. is it something that is activating too much sexual energy? So mm. the, I work within within a space here, which is. Uh, a very specific set of boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's like there are certain things that you give me permission to do and certain things that you might mm. not give me permission to do. And as a female, the same. So the same, the same interactions, the same, I think for with men also, as a quite a contact-based person, I often am careful about the signs that I give. If I, if I touch someone's arm, is this in a friendship way or is this in a more intimate way? Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, it's again respecting another person's boundaries and knowing, okay, maybe I, I don't want to be given the wrong signals. Exactly. There. So what's, what's important is that, yes, we can engage into tantric sex practices even as friends. Mm. This is the first thing which is really interesting. The second thing is that we talk about boundaries and the boundaries, it means that, you know, even in the community that we have around here, we have people crossing each other's boundaries all the time. You know, like for instance, a woman might be really full of desire towards a man and put the man under sexual pressure. Very often it's the other way around. Mm. You know, a guy goes on a date with a woman and the woman after the, the end of the date goes like, okay, I'm going home now. And the man starts behaving in ways that are way too needy and mm. demanding and putting her under pressure. So um, it's like we need to find ways of communicating uh, between genders mm. in ways that are really honoring, respectful, if you, see, if you give me a no, for instance, right now after this video, if you say, okay, I'm done here, I don't want to do these videos, I have to be like, mm. okay, I respect that because it's, yeah. it's um, you know, your right for self-determination the same the other way around. So as soon as you start waking up sexual mm. energy and start waking with, uh, working with something where there is lots of shadows, okay, there is lots of things that are untamed and not really checked, mm. you know, all the abuse that goes on in society around mm. sex is like untapped into and all of this, all of this stuff that is like, okay, just keep it at bay, keep it at bay, keep it yeah. down. It's like, no, 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 it needs to come up. We're like a social experiment here. Exactly. We're a social experiment all yeah. for you. And, uh, <laughs> and the, the, um, the, uh, yeah, the element is that it's experimental. It means that mm. we give ourselves the, the space to actually try and then give feedback, it means that there is an active communication mm. of checking in all the time. Yeah. And um, and speaking her truth with that checking in. Exactly, exactly. It means that if she gives me a yes, that yes means nothing if she doesn't have the permission to say no. 
So if, for instance, if I put her under uh, emotional pressure or emotional threat, you know, we don't get breakfast tomorrow if we don't get intimate. <laughs> it's like literally these are, these are the kind of games that we are playing with each other very often. Uh, yeah, or know. in the female end of things, often a lot of females are quite manipulative with their power with, with men because generally men are often much more sexual creatures. So it can be a, a real manipulative dance there. So it's for us to also check in to actually, how are we using our sexual power? Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. I okay, hope this exactly. answers a little bit some questions and so that you understand what are the dynamics when we get started. And so that you can also understand that the practices that we're describing at this stage, they are totally non-threatening, non-invasive. They are non-sexual in the sense that I'm not going to mm. touch you in any way which is, which is, uh, which is sexual. But we might start creating a high level of energetic intimacy, as you will see. Okay? Mm. Ready for the first let's practice? See. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go for it.